and this lecture is for the course for control systems engineering and this is also a brief lecture in which I will be talking about transfer function and linear function. The full course will be available on my website the link of which will be given in the description and if you want to for the time being if you're still interested then you can drop me your email on the business email ID on the channel page and I'm currently online on the patreon which you can contribute or help if you would like me continuing making such videos uh, uh, on the patreon link given below so there's nothing much uh, about the patreon thing but still if you are somehow interested or really came to know about that this guy is doing something really awesome here which needs to be highlighted in form of a contribution on patreon then you can go to that link and you can become patreon there but still I would continue try to continue making some more videos which could be useful to the engineering students graduates etc uh, interested in the field of electrical engineering in India so uh, you could see that a differential equation so in this video I will talk first about a transfer function then what I will talk about is uh, linear systems so I'll try to make some videos in the Hindi language for the engineering series also but I've already made some videos uh, uh, for the mathematics but let's see which uh, which language is more preferable but my ultimate idea is not or aim is not to be restricted on YouTube but rather make a website of my own so that I can deliver more gross material on that website <laughs> when that is online so a uh, linear time invariant system uh, or a linear time variant system or a varying system this is the first kind of a system which I will just talk about before going into how to derive or how to get into the transfer function which will be used later in the lecture 3 and 4 to solve the block diagrams of uh, modeling of control systems so the differential equation whose coefficients are function of time are called time invariant system so each and every system can be modeled using a differential equation which will be covered in the subsequent lectures probably lecture uh, 4 uh, uh, lecture 5 so you can go through the lecture 5 to see how this modeling will happen but the differential equation with constant coefficients are called the time invariant system and with the coefficients are function of time so if there is a differential equation y square a plus y b plus c equal to zero these constants are function of time then this is called a time uh, varying system and if this is not a function of time like it is simply y square a plus y b plus c equal to zero then this is a time invariant system so that's the difference at a very basic uh, level now the next uh, topic in this lecture is talking about what is a uh, transfer function so after learning about time invariant and time variant systems so you, the next thing is to know about the transfer functions so before working about transfer functions if you are going to model the systems then you will need to know about the mathematical tool of Laplace transform and luckily I have made some videos about Laplace transform already which you can go through in my channel and if possible I will try to provide the link in the description for the Laplace transformation videos so 
the transfer function what it states is that transfer function of a linear time invariant differential equation is ratio of Laplace transformation of input of output to Laplace transformation of input so transfer function which is said that gs is equal to l of output divided by l of input so this is what is known by my transfer function so this is a formal definition which is uh, you can say that this is a approximate definition the accurate definitions I will give in my website but you can consider this an approximate definition for a uh, uh, Laplace for transfer function for linear time invariant system and the transfer function can be given as equal to GS equal to Laplace of output by Laplace of input now this can again be given as y s divided by x s equal to g s so y s is equal to laplace transform of input and or excess is Laplace transform of input and Ys is equal to my Laplace transform of output so these notations will be different the same thing can be Bs and Cs or Gs is equal to Bs divided by Cs in this case uh, uh, which you can say that your output is b given by b function or c function these are just notations but this is the main thing which needs to be kept in mind so a simple example of a differential equation could be something like c naught raised to y cube plus c1 raised to y square plus c2 raised to y plus c equal to b naught raised to y cube or x cube plus b1 raised to x square plus b2 raised to x plus b so the Laplace transform if you take of this differential equation L inverse of c naught y cube plus c1 y square plus c2 y plus c this will be equal to y of s and if you take the laplace transform of of or the laplace of this is the inverse if you give this notation it will not come like this so if you take the laplace of b naught of x cube 
plus b1 of x square plus b2 of x plus b then this will be equal to x of s and my g of s will be equal to x of s or this is my output and this is my input so it will be equal to y of s divided by x of s so this is how you can define what is transfer function and if you are drawing block diagram it can be simply represented by a block at g of s so g of s will be this and you can just simply to show it in the block diagram you can simply show but in the back end whatever will be acting will be this full equation here this will be the equation of the input so input could be a device like a mechanical device or electrical device which could be modeled using this equation and this could be again be electrical or mechanical device like an actuator uh, or amplifier etc which could be modif modeled using this equation so it can be when you are representing that using a block diagram it can be simply represented like this so this is a block diagram of transfer function so to again be very clear I can say that block diagram of uh, transfer functions can be given by so that's it if you like this video if you want to take the full course you can email me for the time being and if you check after one month or you can always check in the description right now if you are watching or if the web uh, website is launched you can go to my channel's page and I will update the website within this uh, month that is within the month of June so if in the website you can select for this course and you can purchase that or there will be close to 20 to 50 videos or even 40 to 50 video lectures or as many required classes as required till the topic is cleared but it will be a 40 to 50 lecture class in each lecture containing close to 10 minutes so you can see that uh, approximately I will structure that uh, as per the piece but it will con consist of 40 to 50 topics to be very precise so you can take that purchase that or you can drop me email if you want this course to be completed also if you like this and if you want to be a patreon then you can go to the link and you can contribute there